Hello there, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Card Cafe, and you are here on my Simple Yet Stunning Sunday. And I am so excited about spring, it has sprung, <laughs> that I decided to get out some great bright colors. Our Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, and Bumblebee, and also how wonderful black coordinates and looks so great with this. So I've got some matte black dots, which, oh my goodness, are back ordered on Stampin' Up!, um, they are so popular, but they are back ordered, but I am going to be giving away a couple packages of these. And so keep on so you can see how you can win these. I've got two packages that I'm going to give away to two lucky people. Um, so continue watching if you would. We're also going to be using this wonderful black speckled ribbon. I love this. It is so great and it'll just pop really well with this. So let me set our fun spring colors aside and let's take a look at our pretty perennial stamp set. This was a million dollar stamp set when uh, demonstrator meets a uh, hundred uh, million dollars in sales. They get to help design um, a stamp set or things for the catalog, which is so fun. And this was Dina Rico. I love this whole set, this happy Large happy sentiment is great. And then happy mail, happy birthday. You make me happy. Sending lots of happy. Just so great. And then, of course, the coordinating dies, which are fabulous. So this is simply a stunning Sunday. So the dies, unfortunately, are going to go aside. We're not going to use those today because it's all about quick and simple um, stamping to make some stunning cards. So let's take a look what we're going to use today. I've got basic layers here. I've got my Magenta Madness cut at five and a half by eight and a half, just a standard A2 size card. And let me get my bone folder. Get that folded nicely. Then I have a Bumblebee layer cut at four by five and a quarter. And then of course, three and three quarters by five. I also did another layering just like this for the inside because when you decorate, oh, how did I get that there? When you decorate and add those layers on the inside, it just adds to that richness and that stunning. Gives nice stability to your card too. Just lets people know you went that extra mile for them. So we're gonna set those aside. And now I'm gonna bring this here and we're gonna do a little bit of masking. So what I have is I have these pads of really wide post-it notes and it's really gonna be perfect. This is a one and three and three quarter, which I'm wondering if that's maybe just a little bit too wide. I'm gonna to decide to do a little cutting of that because I think that's a little too wide. I'm gonna go down to about one and a half instead of one and three and three quarters. Nice that I have these grid lines here on this post-it notepad. It's perfect. Whenever you're gonna do masking, it's really important to have some thinner type of paper. You don't want to have anything right raised up quite high because then you'll get some gaps. But I'm gonna go right across here like that. And what I like about this really wide one, it has the sticky on there because it's a post-it note and it's gonna hold there and not move on me, which is fantastic. Oh, now something else about this stamp set because I wanna be using bits and pieces and quite a lot of them, I am using a lot of my clear blocks. If you don't have clear blocks and a nice amount of them, you really should invest in your clear blocks. And Stampin' Up's clear blocks are fabulous. They're much higher than a lot of the blocks that you find um, in the craft stores. And they also have this really nice indented part. So you can be holding that and inking up your stamps and you're not gonna get your fingers into your um, ink, which is oftentimes what happens to people. So we don't want that. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my Vagenta Madness first. Whoa, throwing things. It is such a happy and sunny color. I just love it. And I'm going to do some stamping. You can see how I get that right there. See that gap? You wanna kind of make sure you are really pushing down deeply on that to try to avoid that one like right here. How fun is that? Isn't that fun? So let's bring in another little flower. Maybe this flower is going to be a different color though. Let's do that. I'm going to bring in this little flower that looks just like our big flower. 
and start doing some fun filling in. There we go. Isn't that, isn't that fun and simple? And I think these bright colors are just wow. I think they're pretty stunning. Now I'm gonna bring in the Granny Apple Green. And I know this one actually, I don't know when you look at it and stamp it, it kind of looks like almost like flowers. But for me, it's going to be my greenery today because it's just fun. <laughs> no rhyme nor reason. You can put in as much or little as you want. I'm going to even come right over here, uh, right on top of that little yellow one I did because I want more greenery there. <laughs> now, I am going to take and pull, well, let's see. I'm going to go just get a little edging of it right there. There we go. That's perfect. I can't seem to stop myself. <laughs> stop, Mary, stop. Okay, now I'm going to bring in our Memento ink because I have some centers on my flowers, these little fun dots that I need to get on my large flowers. And then you'll see how those flowers just pop having that right in the center. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Now let me look here in this because I do have the little, there's these little tiny ones. Let me pull that. I need to look because it says that I already did. See you guys, I already pulled that little tiny ones out because that's going to go on my little flowers. So cute. Look at how that black just pops. Isn't that nice? I love it. Oh, love, love, love. Okay, so now that I've done that background, that fun springtime background, I can go ahead and pull up my post-it note of where I did my masking, and I've got a great open panel to do my greeting. So I'm going to have my happy here, and then I'm going to put my other greeting, which I'm going to say um, sending lots of happy. Now, when I look at this, what color do I want my happy to be? I think I'm going to go with my memento. I'm going to make it really nice and bold. <sighs> Let's see how that works. So this particular bundle is in the January to June 21 mini, 2021 mini catalog, which is good through June. Sorry if you're going to get my head here. I really not want to do that, but <laughs> I want to make sure I'm on that that slant just like oh look how fun that is and then I'm gonna do the sending lots of I'm gonna put that right about there and I think I'm going to do that in the magenta although I really like the green I'm gonna go with granny apple green that's what I just decided All right, sending lots of, and make sure I'm on that same curve, that same slant. Look at that, sending lots of happy. This just makes me happy. It's so colorful. I love it. Okay. Now, stunning, like you know, I say, is all about embellishments, whether that's ribbon or um, cute little elements. And today it's going to be about our ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna get my beautiful black metallic ribbon and it's gonna come across on that angle just like that. So I am going to put a bit of adhesive right along here. And then I'm also gonna put a bit of adhesive right along here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a faux bow what that means is I'm going to just tack a little bit of my ribbon. I can see through it here, which is great. I'm gonna tack a little bit of my ribbon right down here. Oh, and I didn't do my adhesive far enough down, my goodness. 
right there. And then this is gonna, again, I know. Huh? Sorry, you guys. I have to have that adhesive all the way down or it's just not gonna tack on there for me. There we go. And I'm gonna bring this up across. Right along there. I want to cover that flower right there. There we go. Let's put that down and see how we did. Let's go up just a little bit there. There it is. So now, when I go ahead and adhere this down to my card, I can then put that additional knot or bow if I wish to. Let's take a look. There we are. Definitely want that up a little bit higher. There, perfect. Okay. And now we'll adhere our bumblebee. Oh, these colors are just so bright and fun. All right, and now I'm just gonna take a piece so I can do a little knot over here. It's not gonna need a bow, but I would like to have a little knot. Just that shimmery of the met silver metallic running through there is great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little twisting around to get that bow to look nice. And then I'll put a little glue dot because then we need to hold that down right there. So let's get a glue dot. Sometimes you twist around, it likes to make a mind of its own. So I'm gonna take my little stylus here. Take that glue dot, I'm gonna roll it into a little ball. I'm gonna put that right down there and then that's gonna hold that perfectly. trim my ends. See how cute that is? Oh, I love that. So now, before we add any more of our elements, like our little matte black dots, I wanna do a little stamping on the inside, sending lots of happy. So where is my big flower? Because I love this big flower. The large flower is so fun. So I'm gonna put a large flower here. I'm gonna also put a large flower right there. And then, let's go ahead and grab our Granny Apple Green. And this, this fun, little, fun little feature there. Like that. Oh. I'm having as much fun doing the inside as I did the outside, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, and then I'm gonna just add my little bumblebee here. We're gonna match it up there. And now our pop of black with our memento ink and our dots. This pretty perennial set, I know these bright colors are something that Dina Rico just loves and I bet in designing this, her idea was that things, these flowers and embellishments would go so great in really bright, happy colors. And I would say she is right on that. Now, before I get any more muck on my card, let me go ahead and get my fingers cleaned up. All right, and then, I like to take cardstock and put it there so my um, image stamped images are not on my mat that may have some wet ink or something on it. Whoop. There we go. It got a little hung up on itself there. There we go. Let's put that on the inside and then I do the same thing. I use the base of the card and turn it over. So I'm just not going to get any ink on there by accident. 
and just look at that beautiful layer on the inside. See how great that is? Oh, just think about a card like this and the happy right here. Oh, that's another fantastic, simple, simple idea. All right, so sending you lots of happy. Let's get our matte dots because we need some of those to add some fun. Let me get my take your pick so I can pick up my little guys. Now this has large and smaller ones. So we're gonna go ahead with a large one right here. And then, I don't know, we'll put another little one right here. And then another fun one. Right there. There we are. Sending lots of happy. This will be great. I'm gonna send this to my niece who's way back in Michigan on the other side of the country and write a cute little note in for her. So there we have it. There is my simple yet stunning Sunday. And I wonder if I add just a little bit more here, you guys. What if I add a little wink? Uh-huh. Gonna add, add a little Wink of Stella to the little darker parts of my flower. Remember when using Wink of Stella, it will deepen and it actually will um, bleed your color. So you gotta be a little bit careful. Try to give a little wink to my bumblebee ones, brighten them up a little bit. There, add a little, add a little sparkly. Aha, uh -huh. that's always fun to do too. That's another way to make stunning, very simply, which we're all about that on our Sundays. Just a nice time to relax, do some simple stamping, but we always want things to have a nice wow to them. All right, so there you are. There is my simple yet stunning Sunday. Showed a little masking trick there for that so I could highlight that greeting really well. Um, I also noted too that this stamp set has lots of pieces and it's great to be able to have all of those little those little flowers and, and leaves and things already out on blocks. So if you do not have any of the Stampin' Up! blocks, um, Stampin' Up! does have a whole collection of these that are specifically designed for the different sizes of stamp products that the stamping uh, stamp sets that they offer, um, as well as a tote, a case that carries them. So perfect for traveling. So now I did say I was going to be giving away a couple of our matte dots. So what I'd like you to do on the link below, not on the link below, but just in the comments, leave me a comment um, and tell me what other color you think this would be great in. So what other color groupings would you like to see this card done in? That would be great. So just comment below saying, hey, Mary, how about blues? Mary, how about these? How about this color? So leave a comment. That's all you need to do. And um, at the end of the month, I'm going to give away two of my matte dots. You can also check out on Monday, tomorrow, on my blog post. You can also comment there as well. So either at my blog or here on YouTube. So remember, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like my project today. And also, if you haven't, hit that subscription button and that bell. I'd love to have you back watching more of my videos. It's great to connect. So until next time, guys. Happy stampin'.